Hi guys, this is Nikki Rowland and I'm making a layout today for the Scrap in Colour YouTube Pop for, for the Love of Pretty Paper and the NSD celebrations for 2019. So my colour is yellow, it's one of my favourite colours to scrap with. It's uh, sunny and happy and bright and it uh, just makes me think of happiness so um, yellow was uh, an ideal choice for me. So I've pulled out all of the yellow stuff um, in my latest stash that I would like to use. I'm trying to limit the other colours that I bring in uh, to this layout. Um, I'm not going to restrict myself to only yellow but um, I want to make sure that it is predominantly yellow with a few highlights of other colours only. So um, I have got, uh, I've had that Paige Evans Horizon paper many times. I think I've had it three or four times plus sheets in the mini um, 6x8 pad too. So <laughs> I've got quite a bit of it left still um, and I thought I would use some of these sun rays from those half, two half sheets I've got left. So um, I've decided to lose the orange and just stick with the yellow in the end um, and I was kind of aiming for something a bit obscure, um, not a standard starburst I mean, um, so it's a little bit of a different shape. Um, so uh, yeah, so I've been through my stash, I've pulled out um, a frame there, a paper frame that I'd already gutted the centre of the uh, paper um, and I'm using that as my uh, background. Um, I've pulled out some Bramble Fox items, I love the perspectives by Bramble Fox. Um, I have the big sun at the top there, that's from the most recent Fox Fox I believe, um, and then there are some other little yellow hearts as well. The sun is a frosted one so it's kind of see-through um, and the other ones are solid shapes. Um, so um, I've also put up that sheet there of Sunny Days paper. Now I really love that paper and I wanted to use it uh, in this layout, however I'd already used it as the background before so I didn't want to bring in too much so I thought I'll um, use it as an extra extra frame around my um, around my white cardstock background. So I've trimmed my white cardstock down to like 11 inches I think and I've made the sunny days paper 11 and a half um, and then it sits on the total frame. But when I did this I lost some of the pattern um, from the sunny days paper which is a real shame. Uh, you can only see the dots on two sides um, so that was silly me rushing and uh, not getting it quite right there. I should have um, cut it slightly differently or you know, trimmed it differently. Um, in order to get that pattern going all the way around but hey ho these things happen. So I thought I would um, apply some mixed media underneath my uh, starburst. Um, I've picked out this, I've got the four yellow um, sunbursts now which I'm going to use um, and uh, I'm going to have them all over on the left hand side of the layout. So I thought I'd apply some mixed media underneath. Um, I've got um, two colours of shimmers paint there. Um, one is called Sunny and it's really bright yellow and the other one is called Bumbly Bee which is um, slightly less bright bright but still beautiful um, and just gives a good um, tone, uh, you know, a bit of a tone difference in the yellows. So I wanted to have a mixture of yellows rather than um, just the one flat solid colour. So having the two different ones is good and the Bumbly Bee is a bit more of a kind of a goldy colour rather than the bright, bright yellow like the sunny one um, and um, so once I've applied those just using the packaging technique I'm then using um, just some uh, a paintbrush to add some flicks of paint all over that too. Um, and um, now I have thought I would have a go at adding some white acrylic paint splatters over the top. I see quite a few people um, doing this um, lately and I thought I'd give it a go myself. I didn't, wasn't particularly successful. Um, I um, didn't water it down enough so then when I did splatter it it came out in huge chunks um, but uh, but um, it, and it also doesn't show up too well because it's over yellow um, so uh, wasn't the most successful first attempt but uh, but there you go. <laughs> um, now what I'm doing, um, this is uh, a little bit later, I've dried my layout with a heat tool um, and um, I'm just applying some netting so it's uh, just a white netting. Um, I've just kind of folded it in a rough starburst shape and I've just uh, stuck it down with some tape. It's going to give some great dimension, it's going to give a bit of a separation between the yellow starburst and the mixed media yellow on the background as well. Um, I'm distressing all the edges of those four starburst pieces just with my scissors. I wish I had done the outside of the layout as well, the three layers there, um, but I hadn't and it's already stuck so <laughs> there wasn't much I could do. Um, I, I've been really into this technique lately um, 
distressing all of the edges of things. I really like it. I like the way it looks. It also, because it makes the edges slightly whiter um, than they would be normally, it gives an extra bit of separation and definition for each of the layers. Um, I normally would have um, distressed all of the edges of my paper layers under my photo and that journaling card, that wonderful journaling card, um, and, but I forgot. Um, so, so you know, uh, I don't know what I was playing at. You know, I distressed the edges of the uh, starburst and then didn't do anything else at all. So I don't. I think I just got too excited about all of the yellow layers and got sticking everything down. And then I realised later that oh, I hadn't um, done the distressing. But never mind. Um, <laughs> not the end of the world. One of those things. Um, I get it wrong sometimes too. Um, quite often actually. Um, and uh, I'm just getting all of those layers stuck in place. Um, I've got this fabulous rainbow trim at the moment that I got from Amazon. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what it was going to be like so I just ordered a few a couple of meters and uh, actually it turned up and it's awesome I love it and um, so I'm just pulling out a piece that is um, yellow with a slight tinge at one end of like a pinky color and I'm just going to get that stuck underneath my um, or on top of my journaling card so it's just going to give like a little shelf um, under my photo um, just everything can sit on there and um, gives a bit of grounding um, and um, yeah, so now I'm just kind of working out what embellishments I can add in uh, to this layer. I'm making sure everything is stuck in place. So those starburst pieces needed a bit of extra assistance to stay in place. Um, so I'm adding some foam pads under those. Obviously the netting um, is uh, a bit more tricky to get stuck down. So I just wanted to make sure that uh, my whole layout didn't fall off uh, at a later date. So I just went through and got all of that stuck down. And now I'm adding some stickers from a Dear Lizzie sticker sheet. It's one of her new, it's her new collection um, and uh, I really love the colours in it actually it's yellows and oranges and golds and uh, that's really lovely um, goes really nicely with um, my colour scheme today um, I you can see that I've added a little bit more colour so I'm adding in um, I added in that uh, paper flower which is a pinky colour with a dark yellow centre um, I'm just getting I got that um, in there I had to chop off one of the pom-poms by the way in order to get it to sit flat oh here's where I realised that I haven't distressed the edges of that journaling card so I had a go at doing it it didn't work very well um, so um, just getting my perspective stuck on now um, that sun is challenging because the um, material is frosted which means you can see through it um, so I really applied lots of glossy accents to that and then needed to put a weight over the top that's why my tape gun is sitting on top of it in my um, in, on my layout and now I thought I would go and add some extra sparkly, lovely, beautiful details using a set of sequins by Spiegel Mum Scraps. Um, I really love these sequins. They have got so many different colours in and they're always beautiful, beautiful mixes. Um, this one has a mixture of yellows and pinks and kind of like a copper colour in there as well, uh, plus some darker ones, um, all different sizes and some flower shapes and, and, and such. So they really add a lovely bit of sparkle um, to any layout um, and I have about 5,000 of them at the moment so I'm trying uh, my hardest to get some used in uh, in layouts um, right now so they're perfect for this layout because I can I'm adding them as some kind of extra um, strips of or, uh, strips of the sunburst um, so they're kind of like the rays that come out in between um, the triangles um, and uh, I'm just getting those all stuck down this is a little bit challenging too because again I've got the netting going on so they wanted to slide off and end up in uh, little valleys here and there and they all cluster together instead of spread out quite as I wanted them to so I had to ma manipulate them into place using copious amounts of glossy accents and a pokey tool I just picked them up and uh, put a piece of uh, glossy accents down and then pop the sequin back on top so I'm just um adding in some last sequins there, the darker ones, there's only a few of them in the um, sequin packs, so I wanted to make sure they were spread out in the right places. Um, and that's coming together really nicely, I'm really happy with the way this is looking. Um, I love yellow so much as well because it's a variation of gold and I really like using gold in my scrapbooking layouts. Um, so I'm just adding in some twine there, it's um, actually it's a thread, it's a We Are Memory Keepers um, 
so stitch happy or so happy um brand one it's designed to go in sewing machines but it's like a metallic thread and it's the best metallic thread i've ever found um, and it's really lovely to tangle and put behind um layouts um, it's also okay to go through the sewing machine too it's the, definitely the best one that i've found the most successful one uh, to go through a sewing machine too so just getting those tangles um stuck in place that just gives a little bit of more of a whimsical feel um to the layout with the ends dangling and uh, um, yeah so just um, making sure that those are all in place and stuck down um, and um, I'm nearly done I'm just handwriting in my journaling it's just a little story about my silly little boy who uh, was just desperate for me to take his photo because he just had got out of the bath and looked his hair looked a bit funny so he was just so desperate for me to take his photo so uh, I thought I'd scrap that little story um so okay so that is me done thank you so much for joining me today um I hope you're enjoying the NSD celebrations and the YouTube hop your next stop is Laura Rumble and she is green um and uh, there's links below so enjoy